Wow, that's some seriously generic bar, mu bar music. All right, folks. Hello. This is Nathan P. Butler here. This is my YouTube channel. Usually it has Star Wars content on it, but of course because we're going to be seeing things like the Star Wars X-Wing Rogue One VR mission coming for PlayStation VR, uh, which is a Star Wars topic. I've been doing quite a bit of streaming here uh, with first impressions or uh, early impressions on many different PlayStation VR games as they come out, so you can get a sense of uh, how they play, whether or not it's worth picking up, and that sort of thing. Uh, this time we're checking out Sports Bar VR, or Sports Bar VR Hangout, as it's called when you actually download the thing. Uh, it's marketed just as Sports Bar VR. And uh, you may recall that I did a recent uh, Hustle Kings VR or VR add-on live stream and was not impressed with the way that it used the one move motion controller to be able to control actually playing pool. Uh, I like Hustle Kings in general. And that worked, I guess, well enough back in the PS3 days, but for VR, I expected something that used two hands. But that's not what we got. So what we're going to do this time is check out Sports Bar VR. It's different types of games, the, the four primary types, and just kind of see if this is any better. Spoiler alert! It is. We're going to do an AI match multiplayer. We're just going to do some free play so you can see how the different games play. Um, I am selecting using a move controller pointing, and then my menu items is all actually over here held by my left hand. Uh, eight ball, ghost ball on, bad start, whatever. Sure, let's do it. Okay, so first off, you're gonna have the ability essentially to hold down the square button. And the square button is gonna let you point to darts or to pool or to way over there in the corner, uh, air hockey and also to sort of a skee-ball kind of thing um, to choose what you want to actually try out first. Okay, we're going to start with the air hockey. Okay, at any point, if you need to, you could point to somewhere uh, and jump to it, like the darts or whatever. We're going to stick here with a skee-ball. If I wanted to do the other side, theoretically, I could. Um, notice there, there's helpful little notices there. You can hold down the thumb button for help. Um, for your different things, notice it is 3D, right? So it's, so grab is kind of blocked there unless you tilt it. Same thing on the other hand there. Um, Hulk mode, like that. Um, but you basically, at this point, uh, for this, do exactly what it seems like you would do, right? So you're in the sports bar, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, 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 let's, uh, uh, let's bust out a bottle. And yes, you can just grab, well, if it would allow me to. Yeah, I can just grab that bottle and be like, yeah, assholes. Whatever. That's one of the weird things. You can do that. You can, like, pick up soda cans. You can pick up chairs and throw them. I think it's all kind of dumb, but whatever. All right. So I'm going to grab. It's got kind of a magnetic thing. Magnetic beam. I'm going to grab my little paddle here. And... It'll play automatically. Game is to seven. Oh, almost had me there. My wife loves hockey, so air hockey is something she particularly enjoys on this game, though she hates the controls for pretty much everything else on this game. Um, this is the simplest control scheme that this game has, because it's literally just... Ah, as I suck at it while I'm trying to talk. Uh, it's literally just... Grab onto the paddle, whatever you call it, and smack it. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, having a little bit of trouble with depth perception here. Wow, nobody scored yet? Seriously? You can, yes, do like I always do in the real game, which is screw up and accidentally knock it into my own friggin' side. There we go! Score! Oh, you can also let go by accident, uh, and it's fine, but as soon as you tap the trigger again, you have to grab it again. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, yeah, not very good at this game. Never have been. Not in real life, not virtually. But suffice to say, I actually won my first game with it. This is probably only the second that I've played. My wife's played a few. Oh, 
Ho! Oh, and he knocked his own in. So, yeah. Got it. He's trying to concentrate instead of sucking. I guess this is where I should say, oh, don't forget that when I am doing a VR stream, the chat may be active in YouTube, so you can chat amongst yourselves. I will not be able to see it, answer questions or anything like that, because I've got the VR headset on, and it's not, oh, did it to myself. It's not showing there, nor is it, uh, like, on my screen, nor would it show on the social screen for me, which is whatever is showing on the television screen when I'm using the headset, so... Even if I had somebody sitting in the room with me without them having a computer open, there wouldn't be any... Oh, shit. There wouldn't be any way to answer. So if it seems like you've watched a few of these and I haven't answered you, that's why. Because I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, for that sort of thing, you'll have to wait till the videos process. Oh, come on. Wait for the videos to process, and then once that happens... Then I can answer comments, because then I'll see the comments. Man, this goes on for a while. Come on, you bastard. Anyway, you get the gist. I'm not going to play this thing all the way through. Oh, there we go. Now it finally goes in. I'm not going to play this all the way through to 7. Um, but it is 7. And you can have a lot of friends all kind of in the same place, supposedly playing together. I've yet to do that because I don't really know that many people who actually have the PSVR yet. All right, so we can also go to, over my shoulder here, basically ski ball Enable. Woo! Doot, doot, doot. Oh, sucked. Hey, got a hundred. My wife was trying all night to do that. She got it like twice. The thing I don't like about this is the height that you're standing at to do ski ball. Because I'm used to the idea that you kind of roll it like bowling. And this is more like slinging it like this because of how high it is. That said, I'm not doing too horribly, except for that ball that just tried to go off the side. Get back here, you... Whoa! Sorry! In fact, I wonder... Huh. Nope. You can throw bottles at people, but you can't throw a... That, let's see. Speaking of bottles... Uh oh Jackass! Eh. Do it on the ground. That's okay. But yeah, so it's skee-ball. Yay. Um, not a huge fan of skee-ball, but whatever. Then you got your social space over here. It looks all neat, but there's not really anything to do unless you just want to move around in case you're going to talk to somebody or chill. Which again is kind of weird to do in VR, but the whatever. Um, let me point myself back. Uh, to the darts. Okay, darts, a little bit different. Where are the darts on that hand? There we go. So with darts, basically you press circle, and the darts appear in one hand. You grab it with this hand. You can line it up, and then hold down trigger on the left hand, and it locks it into a horizontal plane here. And then, zoop, there it goes. What I find the problem is, is I have a hard time seeing them once they're on the actual thing there. So you can kind of... Oh, that sucked. Can I magnetize you? No? Okay, day. And no darts. Circle. Look, more darts. Oh. Yeah, I'd, again, not a fan of darts in real life. This would be one where my wife would excel compared to me. Although she hated this last night. So, but she's got an injured arm. So, I think that was, whoa, sorry, my bad. Wish I would have hit somebody in the eye so we could see if it does anything, but my bad. And so on, and so on, and so on. Yeah, darts. Not a big fan of darts, whatever. For me, what really was going to be the make or break of this game was how does it handle pool? Uh, thankfully, the answer is pretty well. So we jump to this, darts, and let's jump to... 
Oh, what the? <laughs> Look, you and your weird polygonal wife. Never mind. Not polygamous. Polygonal. Bastard. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get myself to pool table. Ah, oh, okay, it's that one over there. There we go. Durr. All right, so I can put the darts away theoretically. Hopefully, maybe. Nope. Okay, fantastic. Let's rack up the balls. Okay. I would like the darts to go away. Eh, eh. Yeah, there. Look at those darts. Okay. So, two hands this time. Thank goodness. I can hit X. Ah, oh, damn it. Hit circle instead. Eh, yeah, whatever. Get your ass out of here. I wonder if I can actually hit a... Of course, if I aim it correctly. <sighs> yeah, bounce off the wall. Okay, just curious. All right, so if I hit uh, X... That hand has a Q in it, okay, as does the other. It essentially, based on what you've set it for right or left hand, will give you the Q and automatically line it up as if you're gripping it without holding the trigger or anything in your left hand and your right hand, okay? So, hit the ball, and it won't allow you to, if you're pushing through the ball already, it'll give you that red kind. So, I'm going to line it up here. Hold trigger and it locks you steady as far as moving this way, okay? Um, you can adjust the spin slightly by holding down the move button, which is the top button. So trigger is locking it in place. Okay, so I'm moving. Trigger locks it in place. Fine tuning by holding the move button. Okay? And then, of course, just moving this one. Of course, you got to be careful because otherwise you'll do exactly like I just did. And wah, 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 you're not actually going to hit the thing. Oopsie. Let's try that again. Let's re-rack that sucker. Okay, thank you very much. So, again, it gives you that sort of ghost ball out there. Line it up. And boom. It's just a smooth poke. And, of course, until the ball stops moving, it won't allow you to fake it and smack it, from what I can tell, which is nice. Uh, and then you're like, okay, well, maybe I want to make a shot over here, try to get one of them into that hole, or get this one into that hole. So to move, it's just like moving between any of the different games. You hold down the square button and point, and it leaps you to that part of the table. All right? So maybe I want here. And maybe I want a little bit further over there. Yeah, I'm still going to miss this shot. Whatever. The, the weird thing for me is I did something like this, and I just felt it again, which is I'm used to playing real pool and still sucking at it um, at uh, my mom and stepdad's house back in Indiana, where I haven't, you know, I haven't lived up in Indiana since 2002. Heck, I haven't lived there since I was like a junior or senior in high school. But uh, every time I'm up there, I play a little bit of pool, usually uh, with my sister. And granted, still suck. But I'm used to the idea that you're doing this and you're kind of leaning your wrist or leaning part of your hand on the table. Where if you try to do that here, you're going to fall. There isn't a table. Uh, I realized that again yesterday as my brain was playing tricks on me because it looks like and feels like you're standing at an actual pool table. It seems a little tall from my perspective, um, but it really does feel like and play like you're playing on a pool table here. But that means... You got to watch out, because yesterday I tried to lean forward like this, and I actually stumbled to my knees because I was trying to rest my weight on a table that didn't exist. So, you know, be careful of that, or don't be a dumbass like I was. All right, so lock it in. Booyah! Oh, oh, oh! Almost, almost, almost. Okay. Ball in hand, open table. Okay. I've yet to figure out exactly what that's all about. Uh, oh no, actually that's telling you uh, which side you are. If it's 8-ball, it's telling you which side, so I'm stripes in 8-ball. So I'm gonna aim. Ooh, a little bit off here. Ah, balls. <laughs> balls, no pun intended. Now, the downside to this is that uh, unless there's something I'm missing in the game, and there may be because I just started playing it just a little bit, um, big downside is that, unfortunately, 
you don't have... Oh, what the hell I was trying to do there. Um, you don't have any kind of guide. So, like, if I was playing this game, which I am, of course, you jump over here, then if I want to see where this ball is going to go, I just got to kind of eyeball it, right? Whereas if I was playing Hustle Kings, as I'm playing, you get this crazy thing where it's already got a line coming out from the end of your queue, and you're able to follow it from point to point to point where that ball's supposed to go if you wind up nailing it just right. Whereas this game doesn't have anything like that. It's like a geometry assistant kind of thing. So uh, it does play more like real life where you don't have that kind of guide to help you. Um, again, you can sort of move around, though. It gives you that ghost. Ah, almost. Um, but, I mean, it plays pretty well. The downside, I find, is... Let's look at some of these faraway balls over here. Okay? Doesn't really matter which ones, but take a look at the faraway balls. Uh, which is uh, probably a Star Wars porn parody at some point. Um, but these far, far away balls. And keep an eye on the bottom of the balls as they roll. See, like that one. Like they're spinning, but because of the, the resolution of the headset... And I don't think it would be this way on the regular screen, but of course I can't see the regular screen as I'm playing. It seems as though the balls are dipping just a little bit into the geometry of the table. So they look a little weird as they're rolling. Um, but by and large, I much, much, much prefer this to Hustle Kings VR. It is such a better experience, even though, oops, scratch, uh, even though I'm still kind of a mess at playing any of these games. Uh, as much of a mess of playing these games here as I would be in real life. Um, but a nice setup. It's cool to be able to carry around your menu stuff uh, on your hand. Uh, the fact that you're able to just immediately pull out the darts whenever, which is weird, but whatever. Uh, oh, pff, stuck one on the light there. Uh, and the fact that we've got multiple different games to play make this a cool one. I don't think anybody's going to be buying this to play darts buying this to play skee-ball. You might buy it to play air hockey, but I highly doubt it at a price tag of 20 bucks. What people are really going to be buying this for is a much better pool experience, billiards experience, than you're going to get with Hustle Kings VR if you're playing with two move controllers. As a fully featured pool game, Hustle Games has it all over this. But in terms of a realistic feeling, immersive experience when you've got the two move controllers, this kicks Hustle Kings VR's butt hands down. Hustle Kings VR is an add-on to the PS4 version for 10 bucks. This game, for all the games together, uh, is 20 bucks. With that, I'm going to jump out of here. Um, you can see and hear more about my thoughts on PlayStation VR in other live streams on this channel. You can also check out Cloud City Casino at StarWarsReport.com, where we've got an episode uh, coming out recently or that is about to come out about first impressions from me and uh, my, the other host, uh, Michael Morris, talking about PlayStation VR and whatnot, and some general thoughts on some games you might want to pick up. Um, but I'll be back momentarily with a second stream here for today. We're going to look at another game full of mini games, which turned out to be way cooler than I ever thought it would be. I'm really glad I purchased it, just like this one for the pool simulator, which is, of all things, Carnival Games VR. So, thank you for watching, and back in a minute.